Hey guys, it's Mark with Balls Out Ball Pythons here with my buddy Chad doing a update video. This was a a couple of the cool looking ones from the Lesser Clutch that we just hatched out a couple of weeks ago. It was clutch number 15. We have some really cool looking lessers out of it. Um, I really I like the boy. This is the boy over here. He's already started feeding. But I really like this girl. She is really just phenomenal looking. Up front she's all well busy pattern but down around here going back toward the tail it's all banding. It's just she's amazing looking to me. Then here he just looks not like a caramel lesser but he has a caramel look to him an overall caramel. <laughs> look at her sliding. I'm sorry you missed it dude that was hilarious. Okay so he has a lot of blushing just really cool it's just something I was messing around with because the dad looked different, so I held him back and bred him back to his mom. So I'm going to put these two up and get a couple more out. We're going to do it. This is a not just an update video. It is a show some of the some of the hatchlings that I produced this season. And uh, I guess next we'll look at the pastel lessers. All right, she just shed. Awesome. We'll look at the pastel lessers. We'll compare the male with the female. That is so cool. I'm so glad you shed. She's like, hey, if I'm gonna do this, then I need to shed. But she is just amazing looking. She's very vibrant in her colors. I hope the camera picks those colors up. Oh yeah, she looks awesome. Yeah. Then we have the male over here. He just started eating on his own not too long ago. He's not as big as her probably because he didn't start as quick as her. But two totally different looks. Man, she almost looks like a super pastel. <laughs> I know, man. She's awesome. So this is the male. No, he's not for sale. He's pretty blushed out too. Yeah, I'm only holding him back because I want to watch him grow up. I want to see the two different looks on the lessers, the pastel lessers, as they grow up. Stay, boy. Stay. Good boy. All right, so... uh that's the pastel lessers. I just absolutely love the color. And she just shed out too. Man. See, shed. Great. Now I got the junk in there. What am I doing? We didn't see it anyway. Alright, good. So I'm gonna put her up. I'm gonna put him up. I'll catch that shed in just a little while, baby girl. And we're gonna give you something to look at while I'm getting out the other ones. We're gonna get the one of the champagne mojos. I have two females that I held back and one male. The others are gone. Okay. She's like, leave me alone, man. <laughs> okay. There you go, little guy. Thank you for coming out and showing us how pretty you are. And now we'll get another. Champagne Mojave out. Let you see the girl. Ugh. This is Lola. Big Lola. Golly. I know, she's from our earlier clutch. She's been eating good. Yeah. And we're going to get, who is this? Arnell. I love this dark head on the Champagne Mojave. Oh, me too, man. Me too. Kind of reminds you of how the blue eye leucistics have the my male dark head. Back. Yep. And then the black eyes, man, they're just gorgeous, man. They, man, they he's go. very clean, too, and I love that paradox looking. That is so cool, man. Yep, yeah, he's uh, he's getting big, too. She's getting big. They're all actually getting big. And yes, that's, let's see, I think that might be L. Yep, I think that was her hissing. She is not happy. Look at her. She's like, I'm going to make myself big. Leave me alone. Do you tag me on camera? Really? You want to hit my finger? Now you want it? She's like, does it taste like a mouse? Okay, well. That dude is awesome right there. Though. That's her. You can take your little hissy self back home now. And we'll get Lola. Come on, Lola. Yeah, this is probably going to be one of those longer videos that people see because I don't want to do a whole bunch of different ones. 
So, hope y'all don't mind watching all the way through. Um, let's see here. This is the Lemon Blast 100% Hit for Hypo Male I'm holding back. gonna hold this guy back but I really don't need another just single gene champagne male but god he's so amazing looking so this is uh this is the champagne male that was from the two egg clutch that uh, where I lost a lot of the eggs and got that one in the really cool black back so he is for sale um, if anybody wants to make me an offer on him they're more than welcome to don't lowball me. I probably won't answer. So we have him, and I'm looking for here we have Cleopatra. And this is Cleopatra. She is a bumblebee. Oh, she's in shed. Dang. You need to learn some from the pastel lesser. Oh well. Bumblebee had hypo girls in shed. She's all back. And I don't really see any reason to show you a bumblebee head hypo that's in shed, so we'll move on. This is the banded, uh, genetic banded spinner blast that is really holding his colors well. He is just amazing. Man, that is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I love that guy. And yeah, he's a definite holdback. What do I do with this bent? Duh. It's over here. No, that's not yours. That's his. No, it's not. I put the lemon blast in the your bin. I'm sorry. The lemon blast is in here going, what the heck am I doing in here, man? This ain't my house. Mm. Sleep over. Yeah. For real. There you go. Sorry, dude. My bad. I get myself in a hurry trying to show everybody everything. And there we go. All right. Now you can go home. He's like, I you better not get you, man. Alright. I would love to show you guys my Hypo Mojo female, but she's in shed, hadn't shed out yet, so we'll wait until we'll that wait to show you her in a different time. Um oh, here we go. Lesser B hit clown. Oh yeah. Lesser B male, hit for clown. And he will be going with uh, a girl if he gets up to size by the end of the season. I've got a few girls that I want him to go with. Okay. Let's see here. I've seen the past this I could have went down in order, but I'm saving some of the things. This little guy, he likes to try to bite me. Come here, little guy, come on. Time to go home. Yes, sir. Time to go on. Just keep eating. Oh, and the, the lesser bee head clown, he's already had two meals, man. He started out, well, he's on frozen thawed rat pups already. So I think he'll get up to size pretty quick. Then we have... One super stripe. And then we have the female super stripe. She's like just cooler colors, I think. But the male has a full stripe. She's kind of a burnt orange coat. Yeah. I hope it shows up on camera, man. But this one is the best looking male. And he's the one that's for sale. His stripe has a couple little spots, and that's all. Well, wait, let me make sure I'm not lying. Up oh, one more little one. So a little bitty. It has like three breaks in yeah, his stripe. Yeah, it's like three or four. Dude is freaking awesome though. Yeah. His coloration is just amazing to me. All three of them actually. I love the super stripes. I love yellow bellies. I love everything to do with super stripes, yellow belly specters. Anything in the yellow belly complex is just amazing to me. 
Trooper Stripes. <laughs> he tried to tag me. This little male's available. Yes, he is. And uh, I'm asking, well, I'm not going to tell you what I'm asking. I'm here. If you want to know what I'm asking for him, give me a call or I mean, uh, shoot me a message. Or if you know how to do a PM, do the PM. Uh, Contact him on Facebook, yeah, Balls Facebook. Out Ball Pythons. Yeah. That little dude's up for some grabs. You can email me at ballsoutballs at hotmail.com. B A L L C. You should, throw, you should throw the female specter just to show what the specter gene looks like that he's carrying. You know, even though we showed her in the previous video. You know what? You're right. Just to thinking, let them see, you know, what the specter. I was thinking that specter. was the same video. Yeah. This is a specter. And man, that is one smoking hot specter. Yes, it is. And uh, let me get a yellow belly show you the, the ingredients of this neither one of them look like a super stripe you know or even look like they would make a super stripe so here's a yellow belly male that's a specter female if I bred them together we could make that come on dude show your face show your face don't be shame there you go little guy the yellow belly male is uh, available <laughs> Oh, great. <laughs> the specter female, though, that's just an example of the specters you can produce with the male super stripe. And this is a Albie Shoals line of specter. Is Actually, it? I or think it's Mark, Mark um, Haas. Yeah, Mark yeah. Haas, is, but, you know, Albie Shoals has the yeah. same line. <laughs> Austin got his from Albie Shoals. I got mine from Austin. Albie got his from Mark. Yeah. So, <laughs> But that dude, when you breed that dude to anything, normals, whatever, you know, you'll produce yellow bellies and specters. Yeah, no normals. Plug them into an ivory, make a whole clutch of ivories and super stripes. Yeah. Kevin McCurley coined a phrase called it ALS acts like super. Yeah. So no normals. There you go, big girl. You get the rest of them. You ready to go, dude? What's that guy eating on he frozen thaw? Already? Oh, he's slamming frozen thaw slamming. with pups. He's almost on wieners. Probably getting close to 200 grams. Yeah, he looks like it, don't he? I don't weigh mine a lot, but oh, too bad this Mojave spinner is in shed, man. Oh, that's sad. Oh well. Just show the jigsaw then. <laughs> Here we go. Another one of the whole backs is female jigsaw. I love yeah. that girl. That girl is smoking, dude. She is literally on fire. <laughs> And it's not even catching the lime green kind of coloration from the Mojave, but yeah. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the uh, jigsaw is a Mojave pinstripe. Yeah. Sorry, I had to spot clean this thing. <laughs> How far in are we? How many minutes? I mean, say. We might have to break this into two, two, uh, two videos. Um, let's see. Here's a couple of uh, lesser B females that I'm holding back. Actually, yeah, a couple of them. This girl, her name is Nippy. She loves to bite me. <laughs> she thinks that I'm just delicious. She's got awesome colors too. Get it all out of the way so she gets hit. <laughs> she does have some pretty colors, don't she? Mm-hmm. She just shed too, so she's she's really looking good. Sorry, I couldn't put her back in there. I love these V18 tubs, man. They're really quick and easy to spot clean. <laughs> okay, here is the first lesser bee female. Well, the first lesser bee I produced this season, and I absolutely love the way that that her 
her fading on her head, her blushing on her head fades all the way back into her neck stripe. It's just mm. amazing looking. She's been eating good too, right? Yeah, she is. I'm fixing to get tagged, aren't I? Yeah. I don't care. She bites me a lot. Get him. She loves me. Get him. <laughs> Ooh, leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. I'm going to get you, dude. I've got like four male lesser bees that are available also. There we go. <laughs> she is mad. <laughs> She's like, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. <laughs> okay, baby. <laughs> you hear her? She's telling me all about it. She's really letting me know. I'm about to get you, man. She's all talk, man. She tried to bite me the other day and it felt like she just touched me. <laughs> Didn't even hurt. She don't care. She still tries. Okay. Here's one I just picked up from Chad at Memphis Reptiles. This is a black pastel 100% het for orange ghost and he is a male and he is smoking hot isn't he awesome looking what's he doing huh? I don't know what he's doing he's like I'm he's like this. he's scared oh, yeah. <laughs> I love all these things on his back I love the etching inside of the thing I love everything about black pastels and cinnamons. I love them both. Crazy pattern on there. Just crazy pattern. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm going to let you look at this guy for a minute. Like I said, we'll show the uh, Hypo Mojave the next time. Oh, here we go. The... Uh, Leopard pied, he's growing okay. He's not he's not the best eater, he's a mouser. But he still looks amazing. Just absolutely phenomenal looking. Oh yeah. I love the Is that a ringer? Blushing no. there. <laughs> he's extremely low white, so you get to see all of his nice awesomeness of his pattern. Oh yeah. That belly solid that's, white. That's actually why I wanted him. Yeah. Was because of the low white and you can see the pattern on it don't really see too many leopard pods that aren't you know high white i know it's uh that's really cool yeah i'm like i love him man <laughs> i just wish he was eating rats instead so <laughs> i want to plug him into stuff this year doesn't look like that's going to happen though i just love the i love the oranges and yellows around the belly so cool. all pods have them but i mean this is just dude Oh, and my favorite part, my all, the whole favorite thing of the whole thing is just the way that his, like his skull cap comes down and then it's like the little stripes coming back. Yeah. Like flames coming back. Definitely That's just an awesome, awesome lesser, man. Huh? He's an awesome le <laughs> leopard. Leopard. <laughs> lesser. Yeah, I was like, oh. He'll be good with a lesser. No. <laughs> <laughs> he would be good with a lesser. Yeah. <laughs> and here is another one that I acquired on the same day. I got both of these from my buddy Adam at Snake Eyes Exotics. Um, you should check him out. Check out his, his website, snakeeyesexotics.com, I believe. Um, but this is a female ivory, possible graphite, whatever that means. I know it has to do with the orange belly instead of the yellow belly type thing, but I'm not really 100% sure uh, what the difference is between an orange belly and a yellow belly. So. I know that Amir Salamani came up with uh, the yellow belly name, coined it way back in the day. And Ben Siegel, um, I believe, is the one that has the orange belly and the graphite. So I love this girl. <laughs> she's just, every time I look at her, man, she just wows me. She's got a great appetite, too. For destruction. Mm -hmm. All the snakes that I've picked up from Adam have been like that. I mean, just slamming everything in sight, you know? Oh, I'm sorry. Here, you can keep on looking at her until I get the next one. Because I have a boy down here that I got from Claudia and Dan at My Ball Python. You can check them out at MyBallPython.com. And I'm going to tell you, one day, these will be paired together. 
yes, this is an orange dream. And it's been a while since he shed, so he's not quite as bright as he usually is. He got a lot brighter, though. I mean, when I first got him, he was, I could barely even tell him from a normal. He was just a little baby, you know, just started eating and everything. And then a couple of sheds, and he was like, God, this blows my mind, man. Awesome looking. So, yeah, that's, uh, I'm really stoked about that project. Really stoked about that project. I used to love the orange tang when I was a kid. <laughs> so his name is Tango. <laughs> but yeah, can you catch all this coming yeah. down through the sides and stuff, man? Yeah. I mean, he's just amazing. And one of the things I love about the Orange Dream is that the it doesn't get real dark as it comes up to the to the dorsal. It actually the coloration stays light and bright. It even has the little highlights going across the dorsal. It's pretty awesome looking. So. That's the orange dream. Um, now, I also produced. Where did you go, fella? Here he is. Produced a male this year that I wish he was up to size already, but he has become one of my favorite, all-time favorite-looking combos, and that is the queen, uh, pewter queen. That's what it is, the pewter queen bee, and he is amazing. I'm sure that uh, we're going probably over the limit as far as how long we can put a video online, but this will be, we'll finish it off with this one. This is the Pewter Queen. This is uh, just an amazing looking snake. I'm glad you're videoing now, or filming, sorry. Videoing. I don't think that's even a word, is it? It can be. Okay, cool. Yeah. Anyways, um, I really want you to pick up on the eye stripe and how it comes down. That is just that's my favorite part of this snake. I love the eye stripe. I can never get him to do right when I, when I want to show it though. I just love this dude's color. Oh yeah. It doesn't even look real. <laughs> it don't man. I mean I hope it comes up on video. This is all like pinkish purplish on the spine coming down. It comes into some creamy looking lime greens and yellows and and then just the, the faded out pattern as it fades down as it's coming down the snake it just kind of fades out fades into white or whatever just amazing God, I can't wait to put this with some other things that I have in mind actually I just want him to get up to size this is a pastel spider um, cinnamon lesser and yeah, he's definitely one of my favorite snakes. A white patch there. Just gorgeous, man. Just gorgeous. I know the head won't be purple when he gets to, to be an adult, but it is now and I love it. There we go. Pewter Queen. This is Mark, Balls Out Ball Pythons, Chad with Memphis Reptiles, and we are out.